welcome back. Joining us for our second conversation, our friends supporting the Anglican Diocese of Belize. On our couch this morning, we have Miss Sandra McLaren. We also have Miss Audrey Cleland, and we have Miss Sandra Peters. We have double Sandra, double dose of Sandra <laughs> this morning. Good, good morning, morning, ladies. Good welcome morning. to Open Your good Eyes. Morning. So tell us a little bit about friends supporting the Anglican Diocese. How did it start? Well, good morning. Thanks for having us and giving us this platform. I want to thank Anne Marie Williams for mm -hmm. opening up the door for us. Mm -hmm. Friends supporting the Anglican Diocese of Belize came out of an appeal yeah. from the late Bishop Desmond Smith, who was appointed Bishop of the Anglican Diocese. Okay. Mm -hmm. And when he came to Belize, he found out that um, the diocese was functioning in a negative way. Mm -hmm. And he came, went to the United States to appeal to Belizeans, please, do something, help us start the organization. Out of that appeal came Friends Supporting the Anglican Diocese of Belize. It also generated another organization which was called um, CASAC, Californians in Support of the Anglican mm. Cathedral College, which was being run by Mrs. Marlene Leslie and her team mm -hmm. from California. So that's how FSADB came about. Mm -hmm. And after five years of fundraising, we decided to go big and we started an honorary dance, honoring Belizeans who have contributed in every way, shape, and form. Mm -hmm. Teachers, educators, nurses, you name it, we honored them. You submitted your honorees, we honored them. Mm -hmm. And so that's how it started. Okay. And then Mrs. Lilith Park Seberanis relocated home. Mm -hmm. She says, I'm going back home. There were lots of uh, shoulders for me to stand on, so I'm going to give back. Mm -hmm. And she came one year and she says, I don't know how you're going to take this, Sandra, but I have five profiles of students who need a scholarship to high school. That was the birth of what we call helping a nation with education. Mm -hmm. So last year, we had our first five graduates, mm -hmm. and Audrey is one of our two graduates from this year. Okay. And Mrs. McLaren helps to support Mrs. Sabranis in running the liaison scholarship as, as program liaison. here. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, so Sandra, uh, Sandra on my left, I should say. <laughs> no, um, talk about the identification of the students for the scholarship program. What's the process? Okay, um, these students are identified through the different Anglican schools, mm -hmm. mainly St. John's and Queen Square. And they make an appeal and the principal or their teacher make the recommendation and then it's taken up to Ms. Soberanis and mm -hmm. then on to Ms. Peters for approval and to find the sponsors. Mm -hmm. And is it looking mm -hmm. for uh, academically talented students or students with, I mean, there are yeah, different so criteria that people tend to use, yeah? Okay, Ms. Peters, mm -hmm. you want to? Um, sure, I think we look at the students both in financial need and academic need. Yeah. So we try to balance it. We're not trying to pick the smartest kids or the poorest kids. Yeah. We try to have a balance. Yeah. And so at times, like for example, we have a child who was sponsored from Christ the King mm -hmm. in Dangriga. Mm -hmm. And everyone, all the teachers there felt that this child would really benefit by getting this scholarship. Mm -hmm. So we leave all that um, selection process okay. to the educators here. Yeah. So they're the ones that are going to guide us. What we try to do in New York is try to find the funding yeah. for those students. And Audrey, congratulations. Uh, tell us a bit about uh, your graduating from? Wesley College. From Wesley College. And then you'll going be moving on SJC. to SJCJC, right? Yes, ma'am. Okay. Tell us about how this scholarship program benefited you. Well, this scholarship program had benefited me a lot mm -hmm. because when I was graduating from primary school, like, I didn't know how would I maintain these four years mm -hmm. and what it would be like. And when I got the notification that I've been sponsoring, I was so relieved and it really helped me mm -hmm. not only financially but also they're like a family mm -hmm. they do check in on you and mentoring and yes yeah. mom we have meetings five once a month once a month, yeah. once a month. Mm -hmm. so, so maybe i could yeah that's yeah. what i'm yeah yes mm -hmm. 
that's our role here in Belize City. Right. While Miss Peters gets the big job to find all the monies, <laughs> yeah. and not just monies, but um, a packages that comes along when it's Christmas, they get a little gift. Mm -hmm. um, they get cards, they get letters from their sponsors. Mm -hmm. um, in the summer, they get the tennis shoe, they get um, the book bag, they get all the stationaries, mm -hmm. um, even including flash drives and all of these things. So All the essentials. Yes, yeah. Miss Peters is busy getting all of this stuff mm -hmm. for us. And here in Belize City, our team, which is Mr. Soberanes, along with the teachers from um, Queen Square, and we have um, a counselor attached onto our um, team also, Miss mm -hmm. Caroline Westby, and we have other mentors like Mr. Renan Blake. Mm -hmm. And so what we do, we meet once a month with our young people, mm -hmm. with the recipients, but they don't come alone. They come with the parents, or their guardian or even siblings comes to this meeting yeah. um, when we're having this meeting we're hosting at least like 30 people mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. so we look at they come in and we look at um, what are some of the issues the mm -hmm. concerns and they get to address it within that wrong table because yeah. we set it up like a wrong table mm -hmm. and they get all the um, support they can from within the group and sometimes we go out to other um, entities or NGOs that would be able to provide that social aspect for them. Mm -hmm. um, we also celebrate birthdays oh. <laughs> and so what we do we pull everybody birthday every quarter and we have this big cake and so um, they get to celebrate we celebrate their birthdays. Now many scholarship programs don't go that extra mile and you know I, I think uh, for for many of the students they are thankful even for the financial help. But why take on the added responsibility of keeping the group together and coordinating meetings? What is your, uh, your objective? We take a holistic approach because we know that um, providing just the finance is not enough. Many people have been recipients to scholarship and they end up losing it because there are other supports that need to be added onto it. Mm -hmm. Like for example, in our group what we have also, we have a mentorship program. Mm -hmm. So the adults within our group are mentors for them. Mm -hmm. We also started a big brother, big sister program. And so we get them involved. Yeah. Yeah. And so each of them has a partner if they're at the same school or in the same area and so oh. they are able to support each other yeah. and maybe they cannot reach us but their um, big brother big sister can reach us mm -hmm. we are also open our doors is not just at that once a month yeah. but they even have access to coming to our homes if they need if there's mm -hmm. an emergency it doesn't have to be an emergency if there's a need or they need to talk they can get um to us through mm -hmm. um coming to our homes. We also have a, um, a kind of like a base set up. So we have um, been meeting at the department for a uh, few services. Mm -hmm. And so they, they can drop a letter there for us. They can um, ask somebody there to get in contact with us because all of us are working within the group. So you want to be group. a part yeah. of the support system yes. for your scholarship recipients. Yes. Yeah. Now, Ms. Peters, tell us about the fundraising efforts in New York and just uh, how much people buy into assisting the students in Belize? Well, um, they buy in. It's, I think, at times, because Belizeans living abroad has been so, living abroad for so long, mm -hmm. they tend to forget that high school education is not free in Belize. Yeah. And, and we have to kind of remind them. Mm -hmm. However, um, our fundraising events that we have in New York it hails from between three to 350 um, guests at mm -hmm. our dinner dance. And if they don't, they can't support our students 100% with mm -hmm. $800 a year, they're willing to say, can I help? Can I give you a check? And we take all the checks because yeah. there are times also when our sponsors, for whatever reason, yeah. um, may face some financial challenges on yeah. their part and they would withdraw the the, the support yeah. and so we have to meet those obligations because we can't tell these students right hey listen your sponsor didn't send their money and yeah. so we have to find that money can you talk to us a little bit about the networking opportunities here in ne 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 initiatives sorry here in Belize that you're looking into because I know that there are a lot of um, Belams that come home mm -hmm. and they still probably want to be a part of 
something like this? Right. Um, we need, we in New York need um, that sort of help. We need to make the connection with Belizeans here at home and abroad. Mm -hmm. um, one of the things that I'm looking for in our organization, it's 11 of us there. However, um, most of our members are teachers, mm -hmm. so they're not quick, readily available like if you're sitting in an office setting. Yeah. So if you send an email, they won't get that email. Yeah. Yeah. So we need, um, we need tech supports. Yeah. You know, tech support that, for example, like I was telling Audrey, she just graduated. She gives us a little write-up, mm -hmm. and we blast that out. We, yeah. we need that kind of a support. It's hard in coming because our Belizeans that are in our age group, mm -hmm. they're the supporters. Yeah. But those people are diminishing. They're relocating to Belize. They're living on fixed income, yeah. and so we're losing them. So I appeal this year in my message to at our dinner dance to our millennium Belizeans, yeah. our American Belizeans, so to speak, because they're the ones that are going to keep Belize going. Yeah. This is Belize. Mm -hmm. Definitely. You know, she's Belize. Yeah. So, Audrey, so proud of you to uh, have had uh, what will be your one graduation. You'll have many more to come. Um, what's the plan for you? You're going to SJC. What will you be studying? I'll be studying chemistry biology as my major. Wow. Yeah. So you're a science student. Yes. Wow. Okay. And how did the support, I mean, I love that you talk about it feeling like a family, um, because I think one of the, the very understated things that we need um, in this country or in general is just having a sound support system. What was it like meeting with other scholarship recipients, uh, meeting with the group itself in, uh, on a monthly basis? Was it something that uh, you feel assisted you even in your schoolwork? Yes, because, however, not only that I'm with the elders, I'm also with <coughs> other students who does the same work as I am. And they, even if I feel down, they encourage me to do my work. Mm -hmm. They assist me when I need help, especially those who are in the same field as me. Mm -hmm. And it's very helpful. Okay. When you when you get to SJC and, and you and you go on to even bigger and better things, how do you think that you'll be able to, to encourage other persons to be involved with this the, the organization? Well, well <laughs> <laughs> What would be some of the things that you'd say to encourage them? What 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 are the 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 positives about the organization that you want to pass on to other people that it would encourage them to, to, you know, just in case you end up going to an American university that would get them interested in, in giving back to Belize? Well, this program is a very great program mm -hmm. and it helps everyone. Mm -hmm. it, it shows my parents, my mm -hmm. family, my friends that <laughs> it shows everyone that this is something very good and it it makes them want to get sponsors as well yeah. it, and do well in and school. do well My, um, it makes parents proud knowing that their child is being sponsored yeah. and they're doing well yeah. Yeah. that you've been recognized for your potential yeah that's, that's great mm -hmm. so how many students have you sponsored so far you said five well, the first year currently well currently we had 17 students in the program oh, okay yes. and last year we had our first five uh -huh. graduate graduates okay. and this year we have two graduates mm -hmm. we still have 11 mm -hmm. and we have a new Consul General in New York, mm -hmm. CG um, Herman Longsworth, mm -hmm. and as we're doing a dance, he decided to give a sponsor. Mm -hmm. A child had already written to us mm -hmm. requesting a scholarship, so no, that child has no gotten a scholarship. Oh, okay. so Great. we're good. And you know, we have our members are eleven strong, and they work very hard. We sell raffle. As a matter of fact. Um, I'm going to put Miss Altia Young on the spot. Miss yeah. um, Altia is the winner of our raffle, first prize raffle here, here, here in <laughs> Belize, oh. because we always send a lot of raffle tickets here for them to, <laughs> <laughs> to help to buy. So we're, yeah. we're glad about that. So Belize is helping us as we help Belize. You know, yeah. it's a partnership. Mm -hmm. um, and I like what I'm doing. I love yes. doing what I'm doing. And everyone in New, in, in New York 
that I'm familiar with. If they're going to throw away that cup, they come and say, Miss Peters, we're going to throw away that cup. You want it for Belize. Yeah. So I'm always the recipient yeah. of stuff for Belize. You, supplies. That is such an important point. And I, and I want to talk to you a bit more, obviously, because you liaise with the diaspora. Um, how how much of an interest is there and, and, and what are some of the challenges in people being able to help out at home? There are a lot of families that are reliant on remittances, mm -hmm. um, but we always hear from uh, Belizeans living abroad about how they want to help but don't know how or don't know who to trust. Mm -hmm. Is that an issue? Um, we, I think we have managed to um, gotten over that hurdle. Okay. In our journal, commemorative journal for dinner dance, the back page of that journal has a financial statement. Mm -hmm. So we tell everyone how much money we receive mm -hmm. and where the money goes. Yeah. And so they trust us. Mm -hmm. They trust us. We don't get the support. And that's because we don't have a grant writer. We don't get it as large as we'd like it to be. However, we can call on people and they help. And most people, they look forward to our dinner dance. Definitely. They look forward to our dinner dance. Okay. All right. Anything else you ladies would like to share about the work that you've been doing? Um, I just want to thank the, the team here in Belize City. Mm -hmm. They've worked hard and, and very diligently and yeah. giving all this support to our young people. Mm -hmm. I want to um, mention that we'll be having a, a banquet, a luncheon for the recipients. We do that each year, right, Miss Sandra? And so we'll be having that this Friday at the YWC. Mm -hmm. I am also um, appealing for others out there who want to um, render their support. Um, they can get in touch with Miss Peters in sponsoring. Mm -hmm. You could go half or full or whatever contribution you give could be put. Maybe four people can come together to sponsor one yeah. um, student. That's true. It's for a worthy cause. And we're looking at paving the way for our future. Mm -hmm in supporting this um, initiative. Mm -hmm. So I want to thank all those who have um, supported and those who will join us in supporting so this can continue to grow. All right, and Ms. Peter? I'd like to echo Mrs. McLaren's um, thanks. And also you could, we are FSADB is a 501c3 company, mm -hmm. a firm, organization. And so you can send your donations to us. I mean, our address is, if you want me to give it, it's called, it's, the acronym is FSADB, which is Friends Supporting the Anglican Diocese of Belize. The address is 925A East 215th Street, Bronx, New York, 10469. And I can be reached at 718-882-8777. Okay. And I really want to thank all my members in New York, I, we, they work tirelessly. Mm -hmm. um, we got a donation just through exposing other organizations. I just yeah. brought some funding for DARA feeding program mm -hmm. that someone who attended our dinner dance read about DARA from our journal and supported DARA. Right. So we continue to support across. And people spectrum. can also contact you if they want to tell you about a program they're doing, if they want you to help to fundraise. Um, we want to, right now, the bishop has reminded us, Bishop Wright has reminded us, that we, our first mission and purpose was to support the Anglican Diocese. Oh, okay. The scholarship program came in After. and we <laughs> decided that we we're going to support that. So okay. we don't want to bite off more than we could chew. Okay. All right. <laughs> so and, right now, that's and, where we are. But we do support, yeah. you know, when asked. So thank you for stopping in. And Audrey, uh, again, congratulations to you on your graduation. And best of luck uh, ahead of you with SJCJC. And Audrey forgot to mention that down the road that she's planning on becoming a doctor. Oh, okay. so that's Fantastic. what she omitted. Fantastic. But I want you to know. <laughs> but we look forward to uh, having you back, right? Yes. Okay. Thank you for being here, and uh, kudos on the program. And uh, thank you for coming in and sharing all the details. Thanks for having us. Yes. We're going to go ahead and take a break. And when we come back, it's to talk about the new sitcom in Belize, Live It My Life. Stay tuned.